Welcome back to my channel. I have a ZVS Tesla core here, which I've shown in previous videos, which just basically uses a ZVS driver. And I've already shown how this can run off of rectified mains. And I'll demonstrate that again for you today. We're gonna to power the gates with around 12 volts. And that should be enough to get the thing oscillating. Just the gate power alone gets this ZVS Tesla core oscillating at resonance. So it's, so the gates are actually activated right now. So when we add a, a mains ramp by taking mains from a variac and rectifying it, so you get half wave rectified mains, that produces kind of a ramped input. As you can see there were some, were some little spikes forming. So what I want to do now, actually generate ramps using an Arduino. So I have an Arduino right here, which has been programmed to give a ramped uh, pass width modulated output of around 30, 35 kilohertz. And then that is passed into a buck, uh, buck converter, which uses a switch. This is a IXGX 60N60 switch, and that's just a regular buck. And we're gonna measure the output across these capacitors. And the, the output of the capacitors is also connected to this, this light bulb. So you'll be able to see what the ramp looks like. Now, what if we were able to lengthen that ramp even more? I wonder what we'd be able to see. Now, one of the issues with the ZVS Tesla cores is typically it can't go very high on the, on the, on the voltage. I mean, maximum I would say is around 48, 45 volts, something like that. If you go up to 60, they're just gonna blow up and short out. So that's the issue with them. And um, Jerry Miller or Archangel and myself have been messing with this. Um, and Jerry has come up with a way of actively driving the gates of the ZVS. So they're not self-resonating, but they're being actively driven. And then if you do the same thing, the results are gonna be amazing. And I've already seen some of his videos and it's absolutely amazing what you get. So he's working on getting, a, getting the system put together right now. But I'm just gonna show you this preliminary thing here, which he's done too. So we have, we have this, a variac. We have an energy storage. So we're gonna take the output of the variac, rectify it, store it up in this big capacitor. And then we're gonna use the uh, Arduino to ramp some of the power in that big cap into these smaller caps, which are 20, nano, 20 uh, microfarads. And uh, the ramped filling of these will light that bulb and you'll see what it looks like on this scope. Let's begin. So I've turned the Arduino on and that's putting out a ramp signal. And each one of these squares is five milliseconds. See, here's running the light bulb with the ramp. There's the ramp. The ramp's about uh, 15 milliseconds. There's the light bulb. You can change the frequency. You can also change the amplitude. Right now, the uh, peak voltage is 96 volts. That's only a 60 watt light bulb. The uh, ramp has got a bit of a curved appearance to it, but it straightens out when you increase the load. I just turned the main power off. So here's the ramp dying down as the remaining energy from the big capacitor, this one here, drains off into the light bulb. The ramp basically keeps its shape. Here we have the gates turned on, and now we're gonna discharge the ramp it through that Tesla coil and see what kind of uh, output we can get.
So uh, let me just summarize. So in the end, I ended up turning it up too high and blowing the uh, switches. So this is the 60 and 65, which I was using in my um, Tesla core. So one of those blue. And then this is the 60 and 60 RGBT I was using for the buck uh, converter and that blue. And then the diode that was in there because I was running rectified mains, that also blue. So basically three components just took off in one go. And um, this is exciting, building these the uh, ramped ZDS Tesla cores, and uh, we're going to keep you posted on new stuff that we do. And uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe.